Hello and welcome, Leo. This is your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, remember, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you. If you want a personal reading, reading with me, you will find all the information you need in the description box below. Right? Conversely, um, I at um, well, I can't speak. Sorry, <laughs> I am currently an executive for, contributor for an amazing online magazine called Brains, and um, they actually contact people that they think have a lot of uh, knowledge and ask uh, only people that they have already identified as sort of um, knowledgeable. Uh, they ask them to write for them, and they have contacted me, and um, I write a lot of uh, things for their mindfulness um, area and section. Anyway, this is the Brains magazine I'm currently writing for. Um, as always, you know, you just um, check the page, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can see some of the things that I, that I publish there. And um, yeah, without further ado, Leo, let's look at the overall energy for the month of October, before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's um, love coming in, if there's uh, healing that needs to happen, you know, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly move at uh, or look, uh, move forward to um, opportunities, as they present themselves to you in the month of October 2023. Now, remember, we are in October, and October is the number 10 slash the number 1. So you will notice that everything here you you everything you hear here um, ought to be seen through the filter of making it happen. You know, being proactive is really, really important in the month of October. Anyway, let's look what we got for you um, with regards to the overall energy for the month of October for the sign of Leo. Now remember, Leo. You are governed by the sun. You're the only sign that is governed by the sun. The sun is literally what gives all of us a lot of strength. And that's what I'm getting for you uh, before we even look at, at the card here. You possess all the strengths you could possibly need. So what you shouldn't be doing is be timid. They're not asking you to be aggressive, but, but being timid simply will not do anything for you, Leos. Right? Anyway, when it comes to the overall energy, you have a card that has the number 55, 5 and 5 is 10, slash 1, slash October. So all they're saying is you are exactly, at this point in time, you are exactly where you are right now. What you're being asked is, because the card here looks at transits, you know, moving planets. And what you need to look at is it's more, like, more like feel the energy around you. What the guides are saying is, it's not rocket science. You are quite intuitive. But if you can figure out the people around you, the energies around you, it is much easier just to read them rather than just listen, listen to what they're saying, if that makes sense. So what the energy that I'm getting here is um, that you will very likely encounter uh, um, people that are sort of salesmen that are trying to convince you of them being good, the right the right people for you, that kind of stuff. And I'm not knocking them, but the answer here uh, for you lies in feeling. How do I feel this? What makes sense to me and what doesn't, right? And that's all you need to do for your for your um, for your overall energy. Be vigilant, but not in a doubtful way. Just trust what you feel. Trust your intuition. Now, intuition sits in the solar plexus. The color of the solar plexus is yellow. The color of the sun is yellow. This is, by default, your area of expertise. I can feel stuff. And that's what you're asked to do. Okay? So, now, moving into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in or whatever the guides want from you and they give me more than one. Fine. <laughs> All right. So, okay. It's not bad, but it is not super flowing either. You have... <laughs> the house of passion and the house of the ascendant. Now the ascendant is literally or can, can be seen as a lifelong buddy. So again, they're asking you in order for you to manifest relationships or to make the relationship you're in work better. 
is to be really passionate about the people you love, right? So this year, what I'm getting here is, um, for most of you, this is about more intimate relationships, right? If you're not in a relationship or you haven't really yet manifested one, all the guys are saying is, you know, don't hide, don't act, be passionate about showing yourself. But for the most part, I feel this is more intimate. So what the guys are saying is, you know, um, okay, so the way I get this, you know, be the best possible lover you could possibly be, right? Maybe, and this is just what I'm getting, right? <laughs> Maybe you should have conversations about, you know, what it is that you like, right? Maybe I can please you somehow. So the energy here is about, is about um, being very passionate and at the same time take other people's considerations into account, right? And then ultimately you have the, you have the ascendant and the ascendant, when it enters here into the reading, he's saying to you, I'm always here to guide you, but you have to allow me to guide you. So bottom line is, this is about more intimate relationships. And what I'm getting here is for you in October, very likely you will probably come across stuff that is reminiscent of an older relationship that you that you that you have had, if that makes sense, right? Or maybe there's something cropping up in the energy or the relationship that you're in. Conversely, if you are manifesting a relationship, if any doubts come up, any feelings of worry come up, work through them, do the work, so that you can then be more passionate and more you in your love life, if that makes sense, right? Ultimately, uh, because your depiction is obviously the male lion. And, and, and while you're not being seen as a super passionate guy, um, the lion knows how he comes across. He's no stranger to intimidating people by doing nothing. <laughs> and they're not asking you to intimidate someone. What they're asking you is to understand. If you are yourself and you have confidence, which is sort of the key word here, um, people will pay attention and you can then come confidently be passionate and bring in passion into relationships right and yet at the same time leos it sounds like a bit of i have to think about this it feels a bit like okay it's almost like i'm planning to be better um and it sounds a bit weird because you're not trying to figure out something just to make that person you know be hooked uh, on you if that makes sense right but um I'm getting this that you are in an energy of wanting to please. And all the guys are saying is, this is not wrong, but what works for your partner is your confidence. So while you can be pleasing, um, be still your passionate self. Okay, so, sounds like a tall order, eh? Anyway, <laughs> let's look at opportunities for the month of October 2023. This is the reading for the sign of Leo, you are watching Thomas' Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So you have the energy of Sagittarius, the wounded healer, the archer, when it comes to opportunities. And the archer is, is the idea is that you decide how much energy you give to situation so there may not be an awful lot of opportunities coming your way but don't just do whatever feels okay it's better than nothing so don't settle at all i'm not getting for you to to um, number one don't program yourself to be worried about the future right because very it's in itself doesn't do a thing um, and also because you have the sagittarius who by default is the archer who goes forward um i don't see you at all in 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 danger of not knowing what to do. The interesting thing about this energy here when it comes to your opportunities is that we have the number nine. Now the number nine is the number of completion. So, and this could be all sorts of things. It's just, you know, when the number shows up here, what they're saying to you is, don't just leave something behind, you know, and go like, yeah, you can all piss off and I'm doing my thing. You know, make sure you bring things to an end in a more harmonious way. Right? And because you have the number nine, the number of completion, if you felt lately that the job you're doing does not fulfill you just because someone take, puts you into another place and pays you more, 
does not mean you will like the job all of a sudden. So what I'm getting is, is to not think, well, it's all about my workmates. They were all a ton of bricks, right? <laughs> not getting that. All the guys are showing you is, you know, you shoot the arrow forward, new opportunities can come to you, but don't be focused on just what you already know, right? Otherwise you will trap yourself a little. And it, it, they, they show me um, actors and they show me actors who complain about, I'm always playing the same roles. So they're sort of stereotyped and typecast and you don't have to do that, right? So if an opportunity comes your way where you kind of go like, well, I haven't done this before, but you know, they obviously asked me if I could do that. Maybe you can, right? So again, goes hand in hand with the overlapping energy of your entire month of October, Leo. Be your confident self. If you're not confident, there are exercises with breathing, there is affirmations that you can do to get your confidence back, right? And also because you are Leo or the energy here is Leo, anything and everything that you can do physically, um, where you can look after yourself, you can validate yourself physically, uh, um, you will find that easier once you look into the mirror to also understand that feeling of, yeah, I just worked out, I just ran, I just walked. Um, you can use that to boost your, um, your energy, right? Anyway, lastly, please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, see you very soon, hopefully next month. And remember, there's more readings on this channel that you might want to look at. So there is a full moon reading and a new moon reading for October, right? So um, it makes a lot of sense to actually subscribe to the channel and see what else is going on here. Um, anyway, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.